Hi, it's uh, Roy again, and uh, I'm making this video to try and sort of understand about trees and foliage and draw calls and the, you know, different shaders. I'm using this uh, advanced foliage shader, and which is very good as far as I can tell. But I've been doing some tests. Here it is on the assets, though. It's just very good. I'll just get rid of that. So my test system, I'm using the demo scene from having imported this uh, AFS and right at the edge of the uh, the terrain over here out of the way so, so I don't, I'm not getting draw calls from, uh, you know, from other assets. I've set up this little sort of test area and each one of these uh, squares is 10 yards so if I go back 50 yards and then on the terrain the trees I'm using I'm not using that banana plant I'm using that one which has popped up over there which is pine as an original tree I'm using uh, that one pine from original boot camp that one is in I'm going my best to click that that one uh, pine IBL, which is that one, and pine original IBL. And my test is really quite simple. I set the uh, pick my tree, set the bush size to one, stick it approximately 50 yards away, just one tree. I've got stats turned on. I click play let go of the mouse and it tells me my draw calls which are currently 12 I don't know why they're 12 it's because I'm in this window or whatever obviously uh, without a tree which is my base is 11 draw calls so at 50 yards, adding one tree here is adding one draw call. And then I uh, get my first person controller moving forward 10 yards, just approximately, not being scientific, click play. And it's 13. So what I've done is I've repeated this for each of these uh, five pine trees and uh, made a spreadsheet. I know it seems like I'm being pedantic here, but if you can save one draw call per tree, it's multiplied by every tree in your terrain. So. Uh, and these are my sort of test results it basically uh, they're all approximately the same uh, this original as simple terrain tree in my first experiment did better but perhaps I've got something wrong so we can see once you get close they go up to 15 draw calls uh, which so they're going actually between one draw call and four draw calls because without a tree it's eleven. So so that's the results of uh, just testing those. I also tested it by putting ten of each tree in to see what uh, how that affected it. And this original a uh, simple tree just seems to be doing. Uh, doing the best this one this one seems to be the best so far 
uh, the other experiment I did was uh, I put all five trees in a line just to see uh, sort of what they look like uh, as you moved closer towards them so I went like this just putting one tree on approximately 50 yards away to see how they reacted how the, how the, the transition from a, a billboard worked and when I click play if you watch carefully you'll see some of them move see them the second one and the last one moved so they're out of it I'm just not using them I, don't, I can't afford to be having trees jumping around like that so uh, that one and that one are no good so the other test I did was I went right back over here to where there's some trees with a light on and I put one tree in there and then went in with my first person catch to have a look and this one looks the best this is the best tree as, as far as I can tell it doesn't move when it transitions from billboard it represents the colors of this light really well it looks just the same as those so uh, I was wondering if uh, because this doesn't sound like it's using the uh, AFS terrain shaders It is using the AFS terrain. I don't understand. It says original or simple terrain tree. I don't understand what that is. But I just wanted to uh, uh, post this video on the AFS forum and sort of see if, uh, if what I'm doing is correct. Anyway, I'll make a cut there because it's probably too long.